Well, good to be with you again this week as we continue our walk through the Word. Get out your Bibles and open up to Hebrews uh, chapter 12, uh, starting with verse 1. But before we go there, what the Apostle Paul is about to reference in chapter 12 refers to, in chapter 11, which we went over a few verses the last couple of weeks, the latter portion of the chapter is what we call the Hall of Fame of Faith. And it's all these great men and women of the Old Testament that stood in faith against all odds. And uh, they stood their ground in faith and saw great things happen. So then we come to chapter 12, and it says, Wherefore, seeing we are also compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doth so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us. You know, when I was a kid, I played uh, football all the way uh, through high school. If I could do anything from my youth, I would go back and play football. I miss that more than anything, I think. More than some of the girls I dealt with. Hallelujah. Anyway, I remember when I would play, no matter how many people were in the stands, I could always hear my mom's voice cheering me on. In high school, I did a talent show. Uh, I was Elvis. I know that's a shock to some of you. But I was Elvis, and uh, it was a packed house. And the voice I could hear above everyone else's was my mom's voice cheering me on. Hallelujah. Well, friend, you and I, as believers, have a great uh, cloud of witnesses cheering us on. You may have uh, lost loved ones, mom, dad, grandparent, friends, whoever, that went to heaven before you, they're cheering you on. They're not just in a grave. No, they're at the up there in heaven with God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, and they're cheering you on. They're encouraging you. They're saying, go, finish your race. And uh, what, a, what, a, what a blessing that is. Hallelujah. So that also makes you want to mind your P's and, coo, P's and Q's and do what the Bible says here. Lay aside every weight and the sin which so easily beset us. Well, what sin is that? You know, everybody, the devil attacks everybody differently. For some, it's, it's pornography. For some, it's lust. Some, for some, it's gluttony. I mean, you know what the devil attacks you with. The good news is the devil's a defeated foe, and you can lay aside that weight. You can lay that sin down by faith. Doesn't mean your flesh isn't going to fight you uh, tooth and nail, but no, your spirit man, which is born again and is reacting to the word, will strengthen you, and you're going to walk by the spirit. You're going to walk by faith and not by sight. You're going to lay that weight down. Hallelujah. And as you're laying that down, your grandma's cheering you on, your grandpa's cheering you on, your old pastor's cheering you on, hallelujah. you got a whole stadium, Holy Ghost Stadium, full of believers cheering you on. David's cheering you on. King David's cheering you on. Moses is cheering you on. More importantly, you have God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ cheering you on. As a matter of fact, go to verse uh, 2. Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. Let's look at that in the Amplified. Looking away from all that will distract to Jesus. Looking away from all that will distract to Jesus. Hallelujah. Looking away at all that will distract to Jesus. You need to turn away from the things that are distracting you from your faith walk. That means you maybe need to turn off the TV. You need to turn away from... If, you, if, if alcohol is an issue for you, you need to look away from the bars. If pornography is an issue from you, you need to look away from the computer. Even if that means you can't watch this video, you need to look away from the computer. If food is an issue for you, don't go to Burger King. Look to Jesus. Look to Jesus, the author and finisher of your faith. He put the faith there for you. He wrote your faith, hallelujah, he's the author of it, and he will see your faith come to maturity, what you're believing him for will come to pass, hallelujah, glory to God. So you can overcome whatever the devil's thrown at you. You are an overcomer in Christ Jesus. You are an overcomer in Christ Jesus. Hey, but I, I just messed up a few minutes ago. 
repent, get it under the blood of Jesus, and keep moving forward. It's a race. It's a marathon, really. That's why it says, run with patience. Patience in seeing what you believe in God to come to pass. Patience waiting for the return of Jesus Christ, but also patience in seeing yourself victorious over whatever it is. Only you know what it is. Over whatever it is you're standing against in the name of Jesus. Run with faith, run with patience, and the Lord Jesus Christ will see you through. Amen? Amen. Well, God bless you. Go to church this weekend. Read your Bible every day. Spend time in prayer every day. Uh, if you don't have a good church home in the Houston area, try Houston Faith Church, pastor by Pastor Chaz and Joni Stevenson. I tell you what, I haven't been this excited about going to church since when John Osteen was pastor at Lakewood Church. It's an exciting church. Hallelujah. You'll grow in the word and the spirit. Well, I love you. God bless you. And if I don't see you around town, I'll see you in heaven.